Welcome Protege. In the previous tutorial we showed you how to extrude different support structures such as circular tubing, C-channel, I-beams, and square tubing. And in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use offset entities to create the, some of those support structures. So I'm going to go ahead and create, create a sketch on the right plane. Then I'm going to do a center point rectangle placed at the origin and let's just make this square 2 by 2. From the previous tutorial we just to create the thickness of the square tubing we just created another center rectangle. Another way to do that is you can use something called offset and that will offset the lines from an existing sketch. So for example, if we select this outer profile, it will offset that entity. We can drag that upwards or downwards. And we can get a, give it a thickness of 0.1. Stop sketch. And now we can extrude this profile. I'm going to go back to edit the sketch. So let's say you want to make some modifications and you already performed this offset entity operation. Say we wanted to fill it these corners. Will it will the offset entity mimic those fillets or do I have to fill it these edges as well? And the answer is yes, when you perform an operation on this outer perimeter, the offset entity will follow that as follow that operation. And I'll do another example to show you how to do this circular tubing. So go ahead and create a sketch on the right plane and then we'll go to center diameter circle and we'll draw this outer circle. Go ahead and dimension that. Maybe just an inch. And then click on the offset function and it'll offset that circle as well. And let's make that 0.1. Okay, stop sketch. E for extrude and then we can choose this profile and go ahead and extrude that. We now have our piece of circular tubing. In the last tutorial I mentioned something about using the shell command and I'll show you why you wouldn't want to use that in this case since you're you want to go all the way through with your cut to create a this hollow piece of circular tubing so I'll go ahead and delete this feature go back and edit the sketch get rid of the inner circle highlight this profile stop sketch let's go ahead and extrude this first so make that five inches and now with the shell command we choose a face so I'm going to choose this top face and now we can go ahead and give the circular tubing a thickness so we had 0.1 inch 
in the previous example, so I'll use 0.1 inch again. But notice that when you perform the shell command, there's still a tenth of an inch of material at the bottom of this circular tubing. So if you wanted to hollow out the entire piece, then you'd have you can't use the shell command. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.